Californians reduced their water use at home by a meager 1.8% statewide in July compared to last year, even after Governor Gavin Newsom urged residents to conserve 15% and drought continues to spread across the state. Officials today warned water providers south of the Delta who rely on state water allocations, already slashed to 5% this year, to brace for the possibility of zero supply next year. The Department of Water Resources also cautioned that next year's cuts in supply could expand to growers and others known as settlement contractors, whose claims to the water predate California's massive systems of reservoirs, aqueducts and canals. Californians always have hope, and that's healthy. But we need to be prudent, Carla Namath, director of the State Department of Water Resources, said in an interview. We're doing more conservative planning than we've ever done. Drought conditions deemed extreme or worse now cover nearly 90% of the state. Hundreds of domestic wells are running dry, and levels in major reservoirs have dropped drastically below historic averages, which bodes ill for supplies next year. The challenge is there is no water, Namath said. We're planning for the worst, but we are hoping for something better, Namath added at today's meeting of the State Water Resources Control Board. In early July, Newsom urged Californians to voluntarily cut domestic water use by 15 percent, but in the absence of a statewide mandate, a patchwork of restrictions has emerged. The result, Californians used about 191.5 billion gallons of water in their homes, businesses, and other industrial or institutional spaces in July, only 1.8 percent less than a year earlier.